Eight, the Minnesota Department of Economic and Employment Development awarded grants totaling up to $3 million to 13 Minnesota organizations. Which ones? Groups that provide training and employment services to more than 650 people who are coming home from spending time in a Minnesota prison. Charmaine spoke to one group that got some of the grant money, and she's here to talk about it. Hi, Charmaine. Hey, Jana. Yeah, the Twin Cities Rise is one of the organizations operating out of North Minneapolis. And while their motto is to transform the lives of those impacted by racial and economic barriers, they're one of several organizations working to bridge the gap. I came here in 2003 looking for employment, had just gotten married a couple months before. For Quentin Osgood, it's been 20 years of paying it forward as a senior community outreach coordinator at Twin Cities Rise. I had criminal background and it was hard for me to get a job. He's one of thousands of people who walk through these doors. Twin Cities Rise is this jewel in the heart of North Minneapolis. We are focusing on participants that sometimes might be turned away by other organizations. We focus on those with the deepest of barriers, the toughest of barriers, whether that is incarceration, whether that is chronic unemployment, chronic homelessness, substance abuse. And now the organization was awarded $250,000, one of 13 across the state awarded funds totaling up to $3 million by Minnesota D. Many of the organizations provide career counseling and job training skills to Minnesota residents who have not worked for at least 15 weeks in the past year and are within six months of release from a state of Minnesota correctional facility or jail. Our focus is on breaking down the barriers. For someone, it might be to, be so, to, to become sober. For another, it might be to become a better parent. For another, it might be to just be able to make the bills. Deed issued a request for proposals for the pilot reentry competitive grant program in October, while these organizations work to change lives. At the heart of this grant is a pilot process. They're focused on individual development and empowerment. In order for folks to not reoffend, the best way to do that is to get them into a job. These grants will allow partners and us as Twin Cities Rise to work with our probation officers, to work with our Department of Corrections, to work with the U.S. Probation Office, and see how we can be working with candidates before they come out. Showing that when one door closes. I remember just yesterday, I talked to an individual, and it was a young lady, and she had extensive background, and she was very doubtful, but I just encouraged her and let her know, hey, that. If I can do it, you can do it too. Another one opens. And saying, hey, I've been there and I'm going to walk this journey with you. No one can do it for you. We do it together. What Twin Cities Rise does is never give up. DOC Commissioner Paul Snell issued a statement saying employment training and job search assistance dramatically lowers recidivism and makes Minnesota safer while helping individuals support themselves and their families. For the full statement and list of recipients, visit care11.com.